Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you've had an awesome, awesome week. So I'm going to be starting a series in response to what a lot of you have asked me for because I often quote from Florence Scovelshin and I found her to be so um, inspiring the way she says things, the gentle way she talks with such striking simplicity and it just kind of like immediately puts the reader at ease you know you just pick up any other books and it will just put you at ease and it's helped me it's helped all my clients without a doubt and it's something that you will um take away for life you know it's not something that you pick up and then you forget so that's the um works of Florence Gilpin so she was an 18th century artist and book illustrator you know um, she died, I think, in 1940, and she's very fa famous for her works, which almost didn't make it to publication, of The Game of Life and How to Play It. I'm going to be really talking about the affirmations because I'm actually going through it again. I'm, 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 I'm reading it again, and it's just, I, I was just um, given the clear, clear intuitive message to share this with you. And also, a lot of you have asked for it at the same time, so... Um, yeah, yeah, it is. You know, we're going to be talking about the different affirmations and leaving you with an affirmation on how to deal with certain situations. And that's what France is really good at, you know, giving that practical sound advice, you know. So she talks about envy and I've, I've um, suffered from envy like a lot of people, you know. I've looked at um, certain people in my life and I've been envious of what they have and um, how people have uh, made it and I at the time perceived myself as relative to them being a failure and I also um, looked at people with money and, and wondered how they did it and what was wrong with me and so these feelings of envy came you know I've, I've looked at pe women that I thought were better looking that, than me and thought um, and felt down about the way I looked, you know, and I wasn't pretty enough, or I'm not good enough. Um, I've been envious of um, people's relationships with their, with their families or loved ones or spouses and felt, oh, I wish I had that. So I'm just like the rest of you. I've had moments of envy um, throughout my life, you know, so it's been like a recurring theme. And Florence talks about how to deal with it. And... I can I can tell you, you know, it's just been phenomenal. Putting hearing it has been phenomenal. And it sounds simple, you know. And let me tell you something. When you start really, really creating reality and accepting that you are the operant power and understanding that you've always created reality, you have been half pregnant, you've been a manifesto all along, you haven't been a good or bad manifesto, there is no such thing. You simply are a manifesto, you're not half pregnant, you are pregnant or you're not, you know. So um, when I really started fully accepting and integrating the power that I have, the power of thought, of my mind, of my imagination, my creativity, my, um, my intuition, when I started really delving into that side of things past five years, I would say particularly, I've let go of so much, you know, and I've started tackling on um, taking, and the right um, works came to me relative to my changing landscape of my mind, you know. And all this theme of envy had just kind of, you know, melted away. It was unbelievable. So just to give you the affirmation, so Florence Scovelshin says, um, I use this affirmation, right? So don't forget about the theory of affirmation versus affirmation and the power of affirmations. And does it work? Doesn't it work? Forget about all of that, right? Don't get involved in those arguments and those debates. The only thing that you want to take away with is anything in anyone's video or book or movie or anything that resonates strongly with you is your intuition speaking to you and that is the thing that is the word Florence talks about the key word that is the key word will make you sit, that that made you sit up that is the thing that is the the thing that you take out like in Jenga 
the thing, the, the little thing that you take out that the whole thing crumbles. So the whole false belief that you've based yourself on or the misidentification or the fantasy that's not true about yourself, it will all crumble when you take out that key thing that's kind of like the cog holding it all in place. So focus on that thing. Whatever you, whatever's resonating with you is, is your key, is your key, okay? And that's something that I'm really playing with now. I'm starting to really, really pay attention and focus on what's resonating with me. So what the affirmation, sorry, just to get to it, is basically to say that um, what God has done for others, he now does for me and more. And I've written this down. I've, I say it to myself every day. And it's now become a part of my belief structure. It becomes, it's now become, a, it's becoming a part of who I am. So I've, I'm jumping states, I'm jumping lifelines, you know. So now when I see um, a movie and I see rich people in a movie, I'm like, wow, what God has done for others he now does for me and more. When I see people in my life um, getting successful or getting the things they want, I'm now thinking, wow, what God has done for others, he now does for me and more. It's, it's simple, but it's such a great way of dealing with envy, especially if it's a triggering emotion that's really close to you, someone that's really close to you, a circumstance or people or a group of people that are that you know you feel envious of and it's okay to admit that it's okay i mean I, I don't care about talking about it you know um it's liberating because i'm no longer bound by the secrecy or the shame of what i'm going through i just you know i'm open about it i'm open about my progress and the things that i'm doing and that the reason i'm sharing things and doing this channel is so that we don't have to live with that shame and that fear and that guilt anymore we don't have to okay so envy, don't worry about it, you know, try that affirmation. What God has done for others, he now does for me and more, okay? I promise you, just make it part of your language, part of your daily thing that you say to yourself, you know? And watch how those things you're envious of no longer become this big thing on a pedestal anymore, okay? Lots of love, bye.